there's stuff to do every night of the week here. And um, clubs put on events, theme houses put on events, Greeks put on events, the school puts on events. We have a huge student activities budget, larger than most schools, and it's money that's completely accessible to students. That's why it's there. It's a huge amount of money, and it's there for clubs, and it's there for students to spend. They have masseuses, sushi chefs, apple picking, whitewater rafting, trips to New York City to see Broadway plays, trips to Montreal. Um, they're, they do an amazing job, they're well funded and they're open to you know, student leadership and student suggestion and you basically think anything up and you can do it. Money is never a limiting factor on this campus, which is great because oftentimes that is, you're like, I don't have the money to do that event. You can find it, you can get it through all different ways and all different sources here if you want to put something on or you want to start something or run something. Both the academic intimacy and the social scene definitely make for a very good time here at Union. Thanks to the Minerva system, professors can pretty much get money and feed their students whenever they feel like it. So there's lots of dinner and discussion, dessert and discussion. You can definitely go to the Minervas. They have <laughs> everything from like erotica nights to poetry readings. They'll have small guest speakers. They'll have music groups. Every student is part of one of these seven houses and has the opportunity to create and participate in activities of all different sorts from academic to social, from dance parties to dinner and dessert discussions with professors and other students. So there are a great many things you can do and each house has a great budget for each year. We have a uh, open mic every once in a while where, where people can come over and play guitar and sing. It's a really relaxed atmosphere where you can play you know a musical instrument or recite something that you wrote it's a really really fun time there's a fashion show that's put on every year by sort of by like the sororities to, it's called catwalk for a cause and it, it every year they pick a different cause that they're going to donate to and it's it's phenomenal it's you nominate union students and they're they're the models and it's it's really hysterical and I, it brings in a lot of money for a good cause Relay for Life is always on campus every year. Students are always, always doing something. There's a ton of clubs and it's always changing up. My friend Parker just founded the sailing club, which was his dream. Uh, I mean, there's everything from debate to college conservatives or Democrats to environmental clubs to theme houses. The environmental club has their organic dinner. They do, um, they're doing like a benefit concert on Saturday for this local group called Roots for Wisdom. Um, a lot of those members were involved with uh, Mrs. Perkins Garden, which is uh, a, a garden established on campus where they grow all this food and um, half the food's going to go towards Schenectady, like the community, people need like food, food shelters, and half's going to go towards uh, Ozone Cafe, so the student-run organic local cafe. I also f uh, founded an improv club because we didn't have one here at Union, and then I took that improv club and I transformed it into a performing improv troupe and we're going to have a really big performance tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I was president of Campus Action for a while, which is kind of this progressive organization where we try to you know, talk about things that we don't usually talk about, like uh, maybe racism, sexism, uh, imperialism, all these kind of big topics, So, like, and kind of try to bring an awareness to union students about what's going on politically, socially. One of the clubs I've been most involved with is the outing club. We'd regularly go out on trips, so we'd go canoeing, backpacking, skiing, caving, etc. It was a fairly tight-knit group of people, and if you wanted to go out on a certain weekend, there was a good chance there was a trip always going out. Every Wednesday night this winter, there was a comedian in one of the venues on campus that you could go see. There's always something to do. Every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday night, there's a new movie showing in the campus center that you can go watch. Um, they're new releases, they're awesome. It's like we have our own private, free movie theater. Great pianists and violin quartets are always in, playing in the Memorial Chapel. Just in the last year, we've, have, we've had everyone from Maya Angelou to Mike Huckabee. Um, these, the speakers that they bring in are incredible, and it's great to go see. There's always high student attendance. There's the larger events, like Spring Fest, which is a huge concert put on outdoors every spring. It's almost a whole weekend event. Friday night, there's a lobster feed in our gardens, and then Saturday, all day long, bands play out on our like green quad area, and it's a blast. Students enjoy it. This year, the Whalers headlined. 
Talib Kweli was here this year. Eve Six was here this year. Last year, the Jim Blossoms came. The Flying Bobs, I think. To be honest, the Flying Bobs were here. We have Division Three basketball teams and field hockey team that's been doing excellent the last couple of years, as well as football. We were on ESPN a couple times the last couple of years. We've also got Division One hockey, which is just an absolute blast to go watch. I get to go skiing every weekend in the winter through the ski club and it costs me 20 bucks and that's for the coach bus and the lift ticket. We're in a great location in terms of what's around us and travel and things to see. Yeah, we're centered pretty well in between Boston, New York City and Montreal so uh, weekend trips there, it's definite possibilities and a lot of fun. I like to be outside. I like to I like to canoe, I like to fish, I like to spend time in the mountains. So with the Adirondacks to the north, the Catskills to the south, and the Green Mountains to the west, and the Mohawk Hudson Valley in between, we have it all. So it's a, actually quite a dynamic and exciting physical setting that the Union College campus sits in and Schenectady sits in. During the summer we're pretty close to a lot of rivers and lakes. A lot of students will go swimming and cliff jumping and boating and wakeboarding. What's great about Union is if you have an idea like that, all you have to do is go to a faculty member or a staff member and they're 100% behind you. If you have an idea and you want to see it through, they'll support you and they'll pool their resources and they'll make it work.